on Congress Neta is now Jairam Ramesh has also tweeted and I quote he says the Delhi High Court has issued notice asking us to formally reply to the case filed by Smriti Irani we look forward to presenting the facts before the court we will challenge and uh, disapprove the spin being put out by Spriti Irani. Now, as far as the Delhi High Court is concerned, it has issued summons to Congress leaders, including Jairam Ramesh, from whom we just heard, and to Pawan Khera as well on the defamation suit by Smriti Irani for allegations uh, these leaders made against her daughter. Right, so this is a big twist in the Smriti Irani defamation case. A 24 hour ultimatum has been given by the High Court to remove defamatory content. That's the message coming in from the court. Jairam Ramesh and Pavan Khera have been summoned. Let's go across to our legal editor Harish Nair is joining us with more details. Harish, what transpired in the court today? Hello. Harish, if you can hear me, tell us what transpired in the court. Harish, can yes, you hear me? In fact, yes, yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, please go ahead. Yes. Yes, uh, in fact, uh, Delhi High Court has uh, issued uh, summons to uh, Congress leaders uh, uh, Jairam Ramesh, Pawan Khera and the Zuza on the uh, defamation suit filed uh, by Minister Smriti Irani for allegations uh, that these All leaders right, made Harish, against... Uh, sorry to have interrupted you there. Quickly take in a Congress reaction, then we'll come back to you. Uh, we have Mr. Udhat Raj joining us on the phone line. Mr. Udhat Raj, what do you make of this now? Jairam Ramesh and Pawan Khera have been asked to respond in 24 hours' time. Now, we did see how this was uh, a, a, a controversy that was being spoken of as something that the Congress is peddling to which Smriti Irani also responded but now the matter has reached the courts and a deadline has been set sir oh, we will comply we will also send our reply uh, it's a court uh, process and uh, it's a one side version now let the someone come and then we will also uh, counter reply uh, what lies have been placed before high court by smithy side all right, so you're saying lies have been presented before the court, but the court has made it absolutely clear that there's a 24 ultimatum being given and you have to remove the defamatory content immediately. The court uh, is uh, very unprecedented in India that without uh, examination, investigation, how could court arrive uh, on conclusion in no time? It takes a time. And court itself is uh, violating due process of law. You are uh, alleged. Yes. You are accusing the court. I, you are accusing I, the I, court, the judiciary, of violating law. Telling you. Let me tell you one thing, which I have been telling you: that they are also human. They are not perfect. So they, 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 they should hear our side. But the court, the court has given a 24-hour deadline to remove the defamatory content. That reply will so come out. So shouldn't that be done to begin with? Party will come out. What we are going to do? Wait for some time. But Mr. Udit Raj, the messaging that you know comes out of your statement is that anybody who questions the Congress Party, whether it's the judiciary or any other institution, you start accusing that very institution, doubting their intention itself. Now, if it is biased, then we will do. And if it's not biased, almost all institutions have been hijacked. So you're saying that the courts have also been hijacked. Up until now, it was some of certain the probe agencies, sir. Judges, certain judgments are completely one-sided judgments. Many, many judgments. They are not, they are human beings. They are not God. And you, you are not God because you people favor out and route BJP. That's why you are questioning. And what happened when Amit Shah did not agree to the judgment uh, uh, in case I happen? Because you know, Mr. Udit Raj, uh, since you are doubting uh, the entire question. process... You will, and not, you will never question that, sir. Everybody is being questioned. Is Everybody being is being questioned, sir. Project. You know, it's the, job of, it's the job of the opposition to target the media when questions are asked to it. People from the government also target the media if questions are asked to them. So the media is pretty much used to that. But stay on with us. Since you are doubting the entire process that transpired in the court, let me bring in our legal editor, Harish Nair. Harish Nair, Udit Raj believes, how can the court arrive at a conclusion so quickly? Why are they not taking their time? In fact, uh, it's been made very clear that uh, in this case, uh, the court has not come to any conclusion as per the uh, civil procedure court. Uh, when civil court or defamation is filed... 
All right, we'll try and reconnect with uh, Harish as he can take us through what really transpired in the court. Uh, don't know if Mr. Udit Raj is still with us, but here's what's happened, viewers. In the Delhi High Court, the court has issued summons to Congress leaders Jairam Ramesh and Pawan Khera. This on the defamation suit by Minister Spriti Rani for allegations these leaders made, made against her daughter. Mr. Raj is also with us. Uh, Mr. Udit Raj. So then, what, what next? Now, what next from the Congress' side? Because so far, these allegations were leveled by some of the Congress leaders as well. As when Smriti Rani came in, filed this defamation suit, and now the court is taking cognizance of it. This is just uh, uh, audacity. And of course, uh, as I said earlier, I reiterate my stand that some of the judges are, our judges are not God. They are human, one. And second, that all judgments are not sound. All judgments are not without uh, biasness. Okay. So, okay, Mr. So Udit Raj, I, like, I don't know if you heard our legal editor, but he's saying the court hasn't arrived at any conclusion. The process is still on. The netas have been summoned. They have been told to remove the defamatory content. There's no conclusion that the court has arrived at. You're still doubting the... Uh, intention. Let me bring in R.P. Singh of the BJP. R.P. Singh, the allegation is that even the judiciary has been hijacked. Mr. Udit Raj says, you know, how come the courts are uh, arriving at conclusions so quickly? The allegation is that your government has hijacked the judiciary also. Well, the problem with the Congress is they don't have believe in any uh, institution of the country, any democratic institution, whether it's judiciary, whether it's election commission, or whether ED or CBI, they don't have any, any faith in any, any institution because they believe in the monarchy and then whatever the monarchy tells them, whatever the uh, queen and the prince tells them, they, they'll go by that. So for them, the court doesn't matter, but uh, it's good that court has taken cognizance and then uh, now no one can uh, scoot and shoot. I mean, I mean you can just uh, uh, say something and run away. Hmm. Okay, but this is, you know, a line that the Congress has very often taken, Mr. R.P. Singh, and now they're going ahead and questioning the judiciary as well, though no conclusion has been reached upon by the Delhi High Court, and we'll go across to Harish also in just a bit to explain the same, but what do you make of the Congress's reaction, the first reaction coming in on this? Well, even uh, two days back, uh, the Rajasthan TMS questioned the uh, Supreme Court order, so uh, that's how they are, they they work now. I mean, they, they don't believe it, don't uh, believe in judiciary. They don't have left with any faith in judiciary because if judiciary gives decision as for them is good, otherwise uh, they, they question they start questioning judiciary now. Hmm. But as I said earlier, now the shoot and scoot can't go on. I mean, you can't you can't just shoot and then run away and by by just saying what you want to say and and. Then not held, not you can you think that you can't be held responsible for what you say. Okay, R P Singh, stay on with us. Let me also bring in our legal editor Harish Nair. Harish, we couldn't hear you earlier, but tell us what transpired and uh, you know whether there is any merit to the kind of allegations that are being levelled by the Congress leaders. Yes, in fact, uh, when Udit Raj says that the court has uh, come to a conclusion, it has not come to a conclusion because if it had come to a conclusion, it would, it would have ordered payment of damages, uh, which in fact, uh, Sruti Rani has quantified at rupees 2 crore of damages. But as per the civil procedure court, when a civil suit is filed for de defamation, as per the first procedure, number one step is to uh, seek the view of the person against whom the defamation complaint has been made. In this case, uh, it's Jaram Ramesh, Pavan Khera and Neta Dizusa. So they have been summoned and allowed, given a, given a chance to place the views, place the stand on the, uh, in fact, the petition filed by Smriti Irani. So as of now, the High Court has taken the first step of summoning them to, so that they, they are given a, given a proper hearing, they are given a chance All to... All right, so this is just the first step in contradiction to what uh, Mr. Udit Raj of the Congress had said. The High Court has now set a dead deadline, has summoned some of these Congress netas. Let's see how that plays out, Harish, for the moment. Thank you for joining us with all those details. Also thanking Sardar.